was over to muscle coming to you another YouTube video. Here we are, international right now, worldwide. I think it is where it's at. Crypto Muscle and the Crypto Muscle Network coming to you with another YouTube video. And oh yeah, another weekend goes by and it's Echo One. That's here and flying. Not quite rhyming, but you know, it's close. <laughs> but yes, it's a holiday weekend leading up into Christmas. And we do have a couple of Christmas gifts we got going on here and uh, first and foremost Echo One is here alright that's the gift it keeps on giving right now and also another surprise gift we have in store well, it's gonna be a light kinda wish alright a gift I mean light kinda gift how light is it is it lighter than Bitcoin oh yeah Lighter than the Bitcoin, all right? So let's talk about the biggest news that just hit Echo One, all right? This is just, just hit, all right? The latest news before we go inside. Exciting news, transition to Litecoin for enhanced benefits. Dear Echo One community, we hope this message finds you well thriving in the world of crypto. We're thrilled to announce a significant update that will elevate your experience with Echo One even further. Effective immediately, we are making Litecoin our preferred withdrawal method. This change is driven by our commitment to optimize crypto experience and offer more value in daily returns. Why Litecoin, you ask? Here are the key advantages. Cost efficiency. Uh, by shifting to Litecoin, we can drastically reduce the fees associated with withdrawals. Currently, we pay substantial fees each weekend uh, when processing BTC withdrawals amounting to approximately six to $8,000. This shift will Allow us to focus directly on savings back to our value community, speed and accessibility. Litecoin is renowned, just like Crypto Muscle, world renowned, right? Two, it's swift transaction confirmations and lower fees, ensuring a more efficient and accessible withdrawal process. What do you need to do? If you don't if you do not have a Litecoin wallet yet, we recommend using trusted options like Exodus or Trust Wallet, both of which support Litecoin transactions. Uh, simply set up your Litecoin wallet and update your withdrawal address in your profile settings, what to expect. As a result of this, withdrawals for this week will proceed exclusively on Sunday with Litecoin as a new payout currency. This change presents uh, represents a significant step forward in streamlining your withdrawal experience, maximizing returns. Uh, need assistance with your updating address? Uh, just contact support and it'll help you through that process. And so with that, Echo One, boom! All right, and guess what? I I've said all along, this this might <laughs> burst your buddy Marco's bubble because he's that little bitch. His sniveling little ass came out of the buckle brush, you know. Oh, but Bitcoin, Bitcoin, you know. Oh, instant Bitcoin, it's gonna be instant Bitcoin withdrawals, you know, a little nut. And uh, I bet that nut is probably. You know, oh, just just crying right now. It's a little bit upset about how you know it's not going to be like you know Bitcoin anymore. But you know what? And I've said all along that I'm a fan of, of Litecoin, right? That if you listen to some of my, you know, if you listen to my broadcast, I've talked about Litecoin and how I've been wanting to grow my Litecoin stash, and sometimes I throw it into different platforms and they offer a Litecoin option. Shit, I even threw it into uh, Quopi before it went down. A little bit of Litecoin, right? When they offer crypto transactions. Uh, there's that Let's Miner. Um, that's currently out of commission at the moment. I don't know if they're going to come back. But again, Litecoin. And then here we are. For sure, Echo One is a legacy platform. So we're going to be piling up Litecoin in my wallet for quite some time and I'm good with that All right, I've been saying I've been wanting to grow my Litecoin stash and as of right now as we speak I already own probably the most Litecoin I've ever had in my crypto life alright so more power to Echo One you know why it makes sense alright because you know with Bitcoin going up right transaction fees and all that are going to be going up as well a lot of activity going on in Bitcoin I mean I 
you can't help but it makes sense, right? And I know that, you know, there's a saying, right? If it doesn't make dollars, it don't make sense. And it does make a lot of sense, all right, for this to go to, for it to, you know, go in this direction. And I'm okay with that. I'm good with that. And you guys should too, all right? You guys should embrace this. And uh, if you don't, well then, hey, <laughs> the door is right over there. You could just walk right out the door. And I hate to be blunt like that, but, you know, it is what it is. It's business, all right? And Echo One is trying to conduct proper business. And you know what? I mean, that that's huge, though, when you think about it. All right, let's look at this again. All right, six to $8,000 that they're paying in fees on the weekends. And it's only going to get bigger and bigger because the cost of Bitcoin going up, the cost of you know, mempool and fees and all that continuing to go up. The amount of activity going up, more and more people joining Echo One is going to go up. So everything's going to be going up, and it makes sense. Rather than go to a tether option like most places do, they really came out of the box to stand itself out by going with Litecoin. Very rarely does any company just decide to go in the direction of Litecoin. They either just go to tether, right? So again, kudos for Echo One for uh, going in that way. Um, so I can't wait, you know, to uh, grow that stash, all right, of Litecoin, continuing to grow that stash. Because, uh, let's see here. You know what? Let's go take a look at what we got uh, on the coin market cap right now for Litecoin. Let me see here. Um, let's go take a look. So that's Bitcoin currently at, the time of this video, 43,700, right? So let's take a look at what Litecoin is going at right now. So um, you're going to get more light, Litecoin for the bang for the dollar, right? $72 right now. All right. So, you know, it's kind of the poor man's Bitcoin. And think about it, though. Once that Bitcoin supply runs out after all that mining and stuff goes down and it's finished, right? And, uh, you know, all that is cranked out. All the mining is done, right? Because there's only a limited supply when it comes to Bitcoin. Look at it. What's the supply of Bitcoin? Currently it says, what, 19.5 circulating supply? I think they said what the max supply is, what, 21 million? So when that time comes, what's going to be kind of like the next Bitcoin? I mean, it could be Bitcoin Cash because it's it's kind of you know it's the fork of bitcoin but the poor man's bitcoin has always been litecoin and it's one of the early cryptos out there right when you look at the big ones back in the early days of crypto bitcoin ethereum litecoin right those were those were the big three before they forked bitcoin into bitcoin cash right and then the rest is history so there you go, right? A little history lesson there for you. And um, again, hey, you know what? It, it makes sense if the company wants to sustain itself, right? Hey, you know what? I'm, I'm good with that. I support that. Because, you know, we've already know what happened back in the past. We have dick bags like Marcos, for example. I'll sit there and do multiple withdrawals. And all that and fuck up platforms because we know he's done it right he's done it in cloudfy right when him and his little buddy jan sat there and they were kept on celebrating hooting and hollering about hey look at this guys and they did like five withdrawals in the same video because it was so cool right and then it fucks up companies like <laughs> cloudfy right and so we all know that marcos lies all the time he's a bitch in crypto right and he knows that he lies about the yeah, how he deposited thirty thousand dollars because he's trying to step up to be the ultimate. Like, get the hell out of here, man! All right, you're a straight bitch. You will never put thirty thousand dollars into any platform unless it was on house money or it was paid for up front. Because that's how much of a bitch he is. All right, and uh, guaranteed. All right, guaranteed. All I gotta say is prove it. All right, because we all know you didn't do it. All right. 
So yeah, go go back into your little corner. Go back in the bushes with Jan and Don. All right, you're you're trash. Always lying. Tell me how you're doing all this talk behind the scenes about how you try to limit, you know, talk to the guys about limiting the withdrawals because the exorbitant amount of fees and all that. Yeah, you know why? Because you, <laughs> you yourself messed things up back then. So, yeah, he tries to act like he's all innocent and he knows what he's talking about when he's the guy that fucked up platforms back then. And he lies about shit all the time. Lie, lie, lie all the time. All right? So, when you follow dick bags like him, talking about, oh, there's there's 10 separate lines when when you when he comes to deposits because what this Echo One wants to do is they want you to sit there and uh, if you want to really you know do a compounding all you got to do is just withdraw and then deposit back in and make sure the next deposit is bigger than the last one because we don't do internal compounding because internal compounding you know all it does is just brings up the inflates the numbers get at it you know what dude you were the one that were pushing for compounding back then and pushing for the compounding button on different platforms so don't go and don't don't come at me with that shit all right and try to fool everybody into thinking that you came up with the ideas of this stuff and that you're trying to do it in the good graces and the good heart of what you are you're so full of shit all right that's what that's the kind of shit you get from marcos out there all right um i'm surprised that he hasn't bought his views like he did before because you know all of a sudden his videos go viral and then there's like 15,000 views all of a sudden like in each and every video but I'm very surprised that that hasn't happened uh, as of late we all know he pumped up his subscribers because you know early in 2023 he's sitting around 2,000 barely hitting 2,000 and then it jumps to 8,000 9,000 out of nowhere then to 15 and it's like get out of here trash all right let's see here if there's any sort of inflated numbers this time around all right, because he's a straight bitch in crypto. And it's just fun doing it because, you know, that's just what it is. Let's see here. We're going to find out. All right, look at that. See, this is real. When it comes to, look at this, real. This is real right here. See these numbers? That's real. Not the 16,000, 15,000, 15,000, because that was paid right there. Just like the number of subs is paid right there. Because how can you get 35,000 subs, but yet only have 84 views? Right? Boggles the mind, right? So just saying. Think about it, people. All right? <laughs> think about it. Even with 200 views, 177 views, 113 views, with 35,000 subs, think about it. All right? Uh, think real hard. All right? It's not rocket science that uh, it doesn't make sense, right? I mean, this is like Donnie Boy type numbers, man. All right, fake shit. All right, because Donnie Boy doesn't get shit. Uh, you know, and yeah, I mean, Donnie Boy used to, but but then Donnie Boy kind of fell off. You know, the face of uh, you know YouTube and all that. But yeah, this guy lies all the time, just like bits away. Like the way he sounds, right? You know, sounds just like bits away. Trash. All right. So I didn't mean to get off, you know, the horse there for a second, but I'm just trying to give you guys the reality of what's going on here because this change is brilliant. I like the change to Litecoin and I'm excited for it. So I cannot wait, all right, to sit there and withdraw into Litecoin. Now, the thing is, though, since they made this on Sunday and I am airing this video on Sunday, but the thing is, though, I'm not uh, filming this on Sunday. So, therefore, I won't be able to conduct a withdrawal because um, it's just that it's on Saturday today. Today's only Saturday. So, that's all I can really do. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what happens with this, though. I'm pretty excited about this and I uh, can't wait to see what goes on. So, right now, uh, there's a 424 balance. Uh, there's a 5,000 I deposited back when I first started. Buy ahead. By the way, way ahead of the game. Way before even Marcos came in the picture and and that douchebag Don. All right. Uh, all I got to say is Don. Shit, I know the real story with Don when it came to Echo 1. 
He got he had nothing going on, all right? Uh, what happened with Shurex and the, all that garbage that Jan was spewing about, right? How come you guys didn't try to go for that stuff? Oh, because it's token garbage? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why. All right. Yeah, so these guys had nothing going on until near the launch of Echo 1. Whereas if you were hanging around and you saw what I had going on, I've been pumping out Echo 1 from the from the very early early pre-launch time, all right? Which was just a month. It was only a month before actual launch. So it's not like it was way, you know, ahead of the beginning of the time. But hey, still way ahead of the game, though. All right, and that's a fact. See, everything I talk about is a fact, all right? Whereas you got a bunch of liars between Donnie, Jan, not Donnie, sorry, not Donnie, but I'm talking about Malachi, garbage, all right? Jan, Marcus lie all the time. All right, even the bitch door lies too, all right? So all I got to say is um, just be careful with those people, all right? Because and if Jan joins us, man, it's gonna be over then. So we just hope, all right. And we'll use one of Marco's prayers, since he's so fake about taking Fridays and Saturdays off for religious purposes, which is straight lying too. Um, you know, why don't you just be honest and say you just want to take Fridays and Saturdays off? All right. I I rather I I would take that as truth than oh because it's religious because I'm holier than thou and. You know, I pray and I pray for this and get out of here, man. Just like your little belly ache you had. All right. So, just saying. See, this is all facts. This is real. All right. And I love to be real and spewing the facts all the time when it comes to what we got going on in the space. All right. I, I blur the lines all the time. And I don't give a shit. <laughs> that's, that's a fact. And the only reason why I do this. Because some people actually deserve that shit. Because they need to wake up to reality. And people need to see what's really going on. Alright. I would be more respectful if he was just more... You know... Truthful. Just being more straight instead of lying and, and acting like he's on everybody's side and all that. When he was doing the fucking bullshit that he's been doing the whole time. When it comes to, you know, the compounding back then, the multiple withdrawals back then. And then he tried to act like he's on the insides of these platforms. All right. You might have got in talking to the people, but not like what he makes it sound like to be. So I'm just saying, you know. And I don't need to kiss all this ass to get, you know, whatever way you trying to, to shake it. Alright, I don't need to do that shit either. So, I don't need to make PDFs on top of PDFs. Alright, let me make a short version of a PDF. And then I'm going to talk about it. And then I'm going to talk about the regular company PDF as well. Right, which will increase my videos to an hour long. Which no one else would really watch. Because you've already gone over the PDF now twice in the same video. And you use one guy that you can barely understand. To cover it, right? Barely, you can barely understand them, but yeah, you're gonna use them anyways, all right? Because we don't know what the hell Don is is bumbling about. He's bumbling and mumbling about bullshit that he can't even understand what he's talking about, right? <laughs> and uh, oh, but no, he knows what's best in, in crypto, right? Get out of here, man! All right, so, whoo, man, this, it's just fun smashing on Marcus all the time alright because he's a straight bitch in crypto alright and I've proven it I've proven it each and every time each and every time every time I said anything about Jan and Marcos look what happens reality right I called out the reality each and every time and what happens each and every time they go hide out it's funny how Marcos was so busy all of a sudden when the platforms were having issues, right? You know, and then he hides out for a while, right? Things are shaking out. Then all of a sudden, the timing of, of Echo 1 and, uh, oh, and, oh, instant BTC. Oh, <laughs> all of a sudden, 
comes out of nowhere and uh, then he tries to play it off by saying that oh he's been behind the scenes you know with talking to the people behind Echo One this whole time and get at it straight straight lying lying all of a sudden not so busy no more right cranking out videos and all that stuff get out of here it's so believable just like he says he works out at the gym that's how believable it is right all right, that he goes work works out. <laughs> you see his dangling arms? All right, here. Let me show you a visual of uh, what he looks like here. All right, let me show you guys here of what he's looking. This is what he looks like. All right, because um, let me see here. All right, this, this is what he's looking like right here. That's what he looks like. So you telling me, all right, you telling me that he works out? This is This is what he looks like. By the way, I'm going to start bringing Marcos back as uh, Marcos douchebag as a guest back on my show. Oh, yeah. And by the way, I have a New Year's Eve treat coming. All right. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> it's going to be a legacy platform treat. All right. Blast from the past. I got a treat for you guys. New Year's Eve. Stay tuned for all that stuff. But, yeah. So, yeah. Um, Marcos going to have to put in some more work if he wants to, you know. Get the pecs up to par and all that. <laughs> Woo! Just saying, you know. So, uh, man, I should start bringing back Marco's douchebag. I like his doppelganger way better than the actual real person because the real person is such a dick bag and a piece of shit con artist. All right, I'd rather, I'd rather take this Marco's dirt bag over here, you know, courtesy of Vortec United. Way better, right? With his no peck, dangling arms, trash here. Yeah, at least this guy is is worth talking to more than that dirtbag piece of shit over here. All right, that he calls himself. You know, he thinks he's you know everybody's crypto's favorite person. Get out of here, man! Straight garbage. All right, enough of that spewing that I'm doing here. I'm spewing a lot of stuff too because, oh man, this I'm on fire right now. Echo one, latest announcement. All right. Litecoin in effect. All right, Sunday, uh, that's going to go into effect, right? Um, let's see here. Maybe, let me re repeat that again about when. All right, so just this Sunday only. All right, so by the time you see this video, it's going to be Sunday. Just this Sunday only. It'll be Litecoin, but then after that, I think it'll go back to the weekend process, right? Um, let's see. Or is it just Sunday only from here on out? As a result of this update, withdrawals for this week will proceed exclusively on Sunday with the Litecoin as the new payout currency. So it's unclear if they're just going to stick to Sundays or just the weekend. Either way, it's fine with me. It, it doesn't matter. You know what? It doesn't matter to me. I'm fine with that. I've been wanting to grow that Litecoin stash. And I'm not trying to just say it just to say it. I've been talking about it. I've always said I've, you know, owns a lot of Litecoin. And uh, I've always been wanting to grow it even more. So what better way to do it than Echo ones? So I say thank you. All right. And thank Echo One because they're trying to find ways to maintain and sustain itself to last longer than it could have been. Bitcoin could have been the reckoning of Echo One. Even though how, as great as it is, you know, to have Bitcoin instantly in our wallets, you know, it, it just makes sense. So I hope you guys embrace this, all right? And, um, you know, you can always exchange it, right? Just like you exchange USDT to Bitcoin or USDT to whatever it is you want to try to convert to, right? Litecoin's not going to be any different, all right? So I'm just saying, I'll embrace it. This is great, all right? They're trying to make moves, you know, what's best for the company. So I support it. So uh, with that, um, I'm just going to have to check back in next time to do that Litecoin withdrawal. We'll do it instantly with the Exodus wallet open so you can hear that cha-ching, all right, guys? And then we'll do that, woohoo, and get all excited and all this stuff, just like the dirt bag does, all right? Because you guys love that shit. So I'm going to do that 
on another video. I just can't do it today because uh, I got to pre-record this Saturday for Sunday as I'm not going to be here Sunday. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit tied up on Sunday here. But um, anyhow, that's Echo One. Latest update. Everything else is going good though, right? This is what Echo One's about, right? Echo One, all right, in a nutshell, all right, this is how it works. Uh, they got they got the community. They just opened up the chat last week, all right. So, you know, they had a, or about a, uh, yeah, about 11 days ago, almost two weeks ago. And it's straightforward. You fund it, all right. Oh, uh, you know what? Here, let me go inside for it. Let me show you inside once again. All right, let me go here. Let me go here. There. Let me go here. Let me show you guys, all right? You want to make a deposit. You sign up. You want to make a deposit. You do Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, USDT, USDT, USDC, and Solana. All right? You can deposit all that still. The only thing that's different now is just withdrawing in Litecoin. And when you make that deposit, going to be earning 0.7 to 1.8% daily. All right. Simple as that. And then instant Litecoin. Who would have thunk that, right? So great platform. Legacy. 2024. End in 2023 with a bang. All right. That's what it's all about. And this is a, a great opportunity, though. And it's still early. All right, this is still very early. They barely been out with their official launch not too long ago. So they got a lot of legs to run with, a lot of legs to grow. And this is not, you know, super blowing up like crazy like we've seen with platforms of the past because they tend to burn out pretty quickly. So what we've been seeing so far is, you know, some nice YouTube coverage across the board. Not too crazy. And at the same time, you can see the modest growth that's happening with this thing. And it's not some, like I said, astronomical crazy growth. Just a nice organic growth. And it's healthy for a platform. So in order for a healthy platform to maintain its healthiness, what do they got to do? They got to find ways to save fees and all that. Because Bitcoin eventually will add up. <laughs> so just saying, all right. So I, sp I gave you guys the facts. I gave you guys the news, gave you guys everything that you need to, to really look at Echo One as a serious contender to have in your possession to utilize as a platform to grow your crypto. What more can you ask for, right? So ring in the new year or perhaps the holidays here with being a part of Echo One and, uh, you know, take the bull by the horns because we are going into a bull run. So what better way to do it than with Echo One? All right. So a uh, great opportunity. Can't pass this up. All right. It's proven itself already. I've proven it. You know, for the last couple months now. So what more can you ask for? But yeah, so check it out. And also check out my latest in my mashups I've done here so I've done uh, mashups here um, it's, it's on pause right now though but I this I did this uh, Neptunes uh, mashup so Neptunes Pharrell if you guys know who they are they do uh, productions for various artists they produced a lot of hits and so um, I thought this would be a great mashup collection here and so um, that's what I did. And check out my link tree. All right. And that way you can see all the different mashups that I've done um, throughout. Uh, it's probably about a year now, maybe a year and a half that I've done mashups of uh, just different uh, artists and all that together. So check it out. I just created this one uh, about a week ago. So, um, you know, just put it out there and uh, something to listen to. So I just want to say thanks and happy holidays. And we'll see you just before New Year's, all right? Because I got a New Year's treat, all right? So, uh, but yeah, happy holidays. Thanks for everything. Subscribe to everything I got. 
and I'll see you next one.